Hi. I'd like to introduce you to a really cool function recently added to Chessbase 16 called Replay Training. In a nutshell, what this function does is allow you to get feedback on moves that are not necessarily in the solution of an exercise or in the list of moves recommended in a, one of those Guess the Move exercises. You know when you're replaying a game in a magazine and it gives you points for each time you guess the right move of Bobby Fischer, Lasker, or whomever. And if you don't find the right move, you get zero points. And you don't always know if your move was really just bad or not one of the ones chosen by the Grandmaster providing the exercise. Well, in this particular case, you're going to get feedback on exactly that. And it will tell you if your move was good, bad, or equivalent. And this will work also for exercises and tactics. Allow me to illustrate this by showing you how this works in tactics and then in one of those game exercises I mentioned. So here I've opened up a tactical position from a database of tactics I have. I am actually using this as part of a training method called the Woodpecker method. And if you'd like to see that in action, I do suggest you check out my video in the channel describing and illustrating the Woodpecker method. In the meantime, here's how it works. I have a database of a thousand positions. They all have a single solution, not all the lines that might be refuted, which is understandable. And here you can see we have a position in which I am whites to play and win. Now, this is the replay training tab. And you can find it at the top. You'll see the notation, which is the first one that usually opens up with a game. Next to it, you have reference. And then finally, replay training. When you click on it, this is what you see. Now, it doesn't give us any moves. And you have that green bar. White has a decisive advantage. Profondeur says, or depth 16. Now, I don't know why it's in French, to be honest. I did not configure chess base to be in French. It's a glitch. But basically what it means is that the engine is thinking at depth 16. So while I'm actually playing my solution, it's actually calculating moves. And what it's going to be able to do is give us feedback on any move we give that doesn't actually match the solution, and even when we do. So this is a fairly classical combination. So the first move is queen a8 check. And it says, you played the Petrosian move queen a8 check. Your move is clearly best. And below it, we see your move queen a8 is given an evaluation of plus 2.93. So this is a computer evaluation. The game move queen a8, and of course the engine move, all of these match. Now, the correct solution here, or continuation, would be bishop takes e5 to set up the final skewer. But what if I were to play the wrong move, or let's say a lesser move? What if I were to play instead queen h8 check immediately, what would happen? So let's try it. I play it, and immediately it tells me, you played queen h8 check. This is not so good because of king g6. So it's actually telling us why the move is no good. The best engine move is 2.9 pawns better. Please try again. Brilliant. So now we can solve tactics and understand why our tries, the ones that we thought was good, are not good enough, and by how much, if it's the case. So we're going to try again. We're going to play the correct move. Bishop takes e5, queen takes e5, and yes, you played the Petrosian move. And of course, he plays the next move for us. And of course, now we have the correct evaluations. We'll finish it off. Queen takes eight, queen h8 check, king h8, knight takes f7, and game over. Now, when you're running through a database of tactics like this, to not have to go back to the list of games and click on the next one and open it up, please. This is shortcut and chess base, F11. And when you press F11, it will basically open up the next one in the database list. So I can click here. It's actually asking me to save because of my new moves and I'm gonna decline. And now we have the next position. Piotrowski against Tenenbaum, Lvov, 1926 and we can continue our exercise and training in full flow. Now let me show you the next way to use this particular function, which is replaying a Grandmaster game. So here I've opened up a classic game between Richard Reddy and Emmanuel Lasker played in 1924. And you may be familiar with the very popular exercise called Guess the Move in which you have a grandmaster game, usually very famous between a top player and some other player. And your exercise 
is to try to guess all of the moves of the winning side of the great grandmaster. And this can be fun, and you'll be given points for every time you get the right move. Maybe one alternate move will be given some extra points as well, etc. But inevitably, there's going to be more moves that we guess that might be perfectly viable that are not given any points at all and we have no feedback from. And we're just left to scratch our heads and say, okay, I don't know if I actually played badly or if I simply failed to guess the move played by said grandmaster. In this particular case, replay training allows us to get the full experience and know exactly what's going on. So I'm going to basically try to guess the move of this particular game by Emmanuel Lasker, the winning side. We're going to skip the opening moves and go straight to Rook C1 and then click on the tab of Replay Training. Brilliant. And it tells us black to move, which of course is Manuel Lasker and us. Now, I don't know what the next move is, and it doesn't really matter, because it's just as well that we might guess the wrong move. Let's play a reasonable looking move like, oh, Queen E7. It doesn't look bad. I'm gonna play Queen E7 and see what it says. And it tells us, we played the Lasker move, Queen E7, your move is okay. It isn't actually the computer move, though. If you look carefully, you'll see it says your move, Queen E7, minus 0 0.23, okay. The game move was the same, and the engine move was actually Queen A5. Okay. So let's play the next move, um, Rook A8, C8. And it tells us, you played rook a8, c8, okay. Your move is okay, not a big surprise. The game continued with a5, a4, and you'll notice it actually played the moves for us. And it tells us also, your move, rook a8, c8, would have given an evaluation of 0 0.09. This is usually from white's perspective. The game move is a5, 0 0.16, and the engine move was h6, okay. So what if we're looking at this position and you already got the gist? I mean, this is great because if you play a really bad move, it will also tell you by how much you erred, as you saw when we did the, text, the tactics exercise. What if we were to ask for a hint? Can we? You absolutely can. If you look over here at the top right, there's this little hint button here, um, a lifesaver. If you click on it, the engine will give you some kind of information on what you should be doing. So it says, move a pawn on the king's side. But now remember, this doesn't mean that other moves are necessarily bad. This is simply the engine giving you its recommendation. This is not even a recommendation based on the move of the game. So on the king's side, honestly, there are only two pawns that can move on the king's side. You have the h pawn and the g pawn, and I'm kind of doubt it's g6, so let's try h6. And you played the Lasker move h6. Okay, and it tells me the engine move recommendation was actually bishop c5, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was recommending Lasker's move. Time will tell, but in any case, the re they can, as you can see, there is a fully functional hint button to help you along the way in case you get stumped. And I should point out that this hint button works for tactics just as well. So we have h6, 0 0.05, engine move, bishop c5, 0 0.08. Not a terrible difference. And it's not going to ding you points because you failed to find the best move or the move for such a small difference. And as you can see, the total score is 15 points out of 15, 100%. Excellent. If we had scored a really bad move, it probably would have taken away points. In fact, let's try that. I'm going to play now bishop a3, a catastrophic blunder, and see what happens. Ah, you played bishop a3. This is not so good because of bishop takes a3. The best engine move is 3.3 pawns better. No big surprise. Please try again. Mistake 4.1 pawns in a big red sign. And you'll notice now that our total score of 15 points out of 20 is just good. We've certainly gotten dinged some points, and deservedly. So that sums up my description of the replay training function, both for tactics and guess the move games. And as you can see, it's really fun and very interesting. And I highly recommend that you use it for either one of these functions. In any case, thank you for joining me. Happy chess and good mates.